what do we have here? Looks like we got ourselves a seat for the uh, 89 Mach 1. And uh, we'll uh, roll the footage. And uh, we'll roll the picture to show where there was some major damage on the seat. And here's the repaired. So, kept the, uh, this is where the whole hole was, this piece here. And we ended up patching this piece in underneath. And uh, I'll show you what I used. So I used uh, some of that. But I also see here, somebody inserted some, almost maybe from a hot glue gun, inserted something which seems to be doing pretty good. I will have to uh, do something here. Roll the seat to the side here. And I'll have to do something. Right here I'll have to patch in, uh, put some goop over top. And figure out here, I might have to uh, put some foam material, some uh, some excess vinyl here. But, uh, we'll start by fixing this. I'll show you what I'm going to be doing to fix this. So I cut a piece of just a little bit larger than this hole. MacGyver did underneath there, and now I'm going to spread some of the some of the. So, some of the goop out and uh, try to bond this down. All right, so there I have the uh, spot. I'm getting out my goop. So I'm gonna cut a piece of scrap cardboard to help scrape and apply with. So here we go. Got it like that, and then we'll apply over top. And the good thing about this is it's the same, similar color to the seat, seat vinyl. I just gotta be careful, it's messy. And the reason I stuck the vinyl in there is so the foam, if I ever had to take the seat off, seat off and do a proper more professional job, get it done, and I wouldn't have damaged much of the foam. Kind of use it like a scraper, and I just got the other finger in, what I did before, just like that, and we'll get there. And if you make a mess, the one good thing, the one good thing, if you make a mess as a rag, this is dry, just comes right off. And there you see it on the rag. On it. And if you're wondering what this piece is, well, in the uh, in the corners here, there's supposed to be plastic all around, and it doesn't. Uh, the seat I got here, this is a secondhand seat. They tore the bolts out, so I had to fabricate to get this piece of metal and fabricate. So this is going to be the new bracket to help hold it down. So, continue on here. So, again, here I have a uh, damage. I got to gonna slide a piece underneath the best I can. So, there we have it for this spot here and uh, show you another spot to work on fill it in
kind of help seal it up and protect from any water and stuff getting in there. Not pretty, but saves having to get the seat upholstered and do the job for the time being, you know, where I get riding, riding back on. Mach 1 there, she is a pro project anyways there to get different things, different parts to make her back to the way she should be, and this is one of them. Well, she's a cold one today. It's uh, minus 16, uh, minus 15 Celsius, and uh, you can see the wind kicking there and the trees blowing them. Uh, yesterday I finished up the uh, Mach 1 seat there, so we're going to head on and head to the Mach 1 herself, itself there and uh, pull off the Formula Plus seat that's on it right now. So we'll head on over to the sled. Well, here we got the sled. And uh, you can see a bit of the seat there. Got my socket here. I'm going to reach underneath the seat. There's two bolts at the back. One here and one over there. And uh, loosen her off to slide her off. Yeah, so I got the bolts loosened off. It's a 10 mil. So if I get the seat off now, I have to kind of lift up. So I'm going to open up the back here. And I'm going to help grab it there you see it's popped which I don't break the light and then you just slide her back now I'll show you here I slide back this far gotta watch my wiring now so I'll show you the wiring so here you can see the tank and the seat slides all the way to the front there you can see the uh, fuel unit there the gauge and here you can see what I have to disconnect and uh, a plug to the left I'm gonna have to cut off because the seat I got doesn't have it so I'm gonna have to take it off but anyway so I'll unplug that and I'll show you the next step here so I took off the uh, light cover now I got two bolts this is the formula plus seat and I need the light assembly to put on the Mach 1 seat there's two bolts that I'm gonna have to undo so I'll have to get a my socket and my wrench and loosen them off and I'll be installing them on the Mark 1. I already have the uh, terminal in the back here unplugged and this can stay with that seat. So we're at the next stage now. We cut the, I cut the wire and we're going to be soldering two together here one at a time and I've added heat shrink tubing. So we're going to start with this one here. 